good morning everyone. So today's topic is going to be all about tow vehicles. And when I mean tow vehicles, I'm talking about three quarter ton, one ton pickup trucks used for towing fifth wheels or large travel trailers. A very frequent question that's often asked is, I'm getting a travel trailer or I'm getting a fifth wheel and I want to know what is the very best truck I could buy to pull it. Now, of course, that's a very loaded question because if I have any preconceived bias towards any one brand, that's generally where it will come out, right? You need to buy a Ford or you need to buy a Ram or you need to buy a GM truck to tow. And that's not how it works. The way I like to view it is a little bit different. So let's go by the numbers and let's go by the facts. If you anticipate towing a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, it's really best that you opt for a truck that's going to be the best fit for that specific towing application, while at the same time preparing yourself for the fact that you may upgrade to a larger trailer. The last thing you wanna do is buy a pickup truck that is just enough to haul a trailer, then find out that the trailer is the part that you may be swapping out later for something bigger and better, and now your truck isn't capable of towing it. Well, the good thing about any three quarter ton or one ton truck is that they're pretty much capable of towing just about any fifth wheel on the market. At least any modern three quarter ton or one ton truck. What you need to understand though is out the gate what truck you should probably be looking for. Let's say that you're looking at an F-250. Do most people realize that the F-250 and the F-350 single rear wheel pickup trucks are virtually identical trucks except for very few differences? Those differences generally being the rear suspension setup. In some cases it could be the gear ratio and with some brands it could actually be an entire engine difference such as the Ram. The Ram 2500 series truck does not have the maximum horsepower or torque available out of the Cummins engine. You have to move to a 3500 or a dually. In Ford's case, if you get an F250, the only difference between an F250 and an F350 single rear wheel truck are some spacers in the back and an overload spring. So when you opt for an F350, you're really getting the same ride characteristics, you're getting pretty much the exact same truck, but you're getting the flexibility of being able to upgrade to a larger trailer because the truck's gross combined vehicle weight is greater. The ability for it to haul a larger trailer is greater than it would be if you had an F-250. The cost difference is generally very insignificant, and that's usually not a major factor. So if you're looking at an F-250 and there's an option for an F-350, or if you're looking at a Chevy 2500 HD and there's an option for a 3500 HD, or even a Ram, and you have that option to move up to a 3500, I would highly suggest it, even if it's in the single rear wheel configuration, because it's not gonna make your ride any harsher. It's essentially identical as far as the chassis components. The only main difference really is generally gonna be the rear suspension and the addition of overload leaf springs, as well as maybe taller blocks that make the back of the truck ride a little bit higher. Now back to the original question. What truck do I think is best for hauling a mid to large fifth wheel? Well, in my opinion, any of the trucks that you can get pre-configured with a factory puck system or gooseneck prep package is going to be the best. The challenge here is a lot of dealerships don't stock up on those trucks. So if you go to either a GM, Ford, or Ram dealership and you're looking at three quarter ton or one ton trucks, it's generally a much more difficult option to find one of those trucks already pre-equipped with that package unless you're moving to a dually. Also, your long wheelbase trucks or your trucks with an eight foot bed are far more likely to be prepped for trailers. I can't just give you a coined answer and say that Ford or Chevy is a better truck for towing because when you go to a dealership to buy a truck, there's so many different configurations you can buy that truck in that it's likely that you could be looking at two completely different trucks even though from the outside they look competitive. For instance, you could be looking at a Chevy 3500 HD versus a Ford F350, but the Chevy has a tow package, it has lower gear ratio, 
whereas the F-350 you're looking at may not have a tow prep package, it may not have a fifth wheel or a gooseneck prep package, it may not have the camper prep package. There's all sorts of options that can distinguish two trucks. When you're comparing two equally equipped trucks, it's a very difficult decision to determine which one's going to be better for a towing application, simply because once you get a truck prepped for towing, they're pretty much going to be able to tow any trailer you can put behind them, aside from some of the largest gooseneck trailers. And in most cases, the fifth wheel towing capacity is going to be far less than the gooseneck towing capacity on all the trucks. So Ford may have over 30,000 pounds gooseneck towing capability, but when it comes to fifth wheel towing, they're still in the 27,000 pound range. And it puts them much more in line with Chevy and Ram. So that's the thing you want to keep in mind. Secondly, finding a fifth wheel that weighs over 25,000 pounds is exceptionally difficult in the first place. You can find them. They're generally going to be lower end units, believe it or not. They're going to be customized units for um, living, not necessarily your luxury units like your DRVs or your Lux. They're generally going to be lower cost units that are just designed based more around size and they're exceptionally heavy. But the dealerships that you're likely to visit, such as Jayco, Heartland, Forest River, aren't really going to have any units that weigh over 23, 24,000 pounds. So to close all this out, when it comes down to what truck specifically you should get for towing a fifth wheel, it really isn't going to matter. Just make sure that when you're shopping for your truck, you're comparing comparably equipped trucks. On the window sticker, look for things like camper package or fifth wheel gooseneck prep package or heavy service front suspension. Oftentimes, those packages will include things such as larger sway bars or even a sway bar period. Some trucks don't have sway bars and that's an option when you buy a camper package. When you're looking at the Ram trucks, you do have to be a little bit more specific because if you don't opt for the right package, it can really, really degrade the capability of that truck. So you generally want to look for a package that includes an Ison transmission and a high output diesel. And if you're going to get that package, you're going to have to be looking at the 3500 series truck because the 2500 series is only going to give you a maximum of 800 pound feet of torque at this point. Anyways, I hope this video has been informative. I hope it clarifies a little bit of the decisions when it comes to buying a three quarter ton or one ton pickup truck. If you like my videos and you like my content, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thanks everyone.